Sometimes the greatest outdoor discoveries are made right in your own backyard. It's kind of fun shooting a show local though, isn't it? Oh, I love it. No, this is cool. This is like a dream come true for me. A place you thought you knew reveals a side of itself you never truly understood. You and I grew up as the crow flies, what, 30 miles from here maybe? Yeah. We love our side of the hill. Yeah. This is, we haven't explored it. And once you feel these winds blow and fill your sails. See how she's puffing? Because the wind changed? Yeah. Pull the tiller towards you a little. There you go. The waters of this alpine lake high in California's Sierra Nevada will forever whisper to you, calling you back to fly. This is Huntington Lake, one of the top sailing lakes in the world. Not far from where we all grew up, but never fully appreciated for what happens here each summer. When it folds like that, your nose is into the wind too much. Right. There you go. There. The joys of sailing on the High Sierra will be taught by a local legend and a master of the winds here. Some people can grab it and just do it. Other ones, it takes time. And exploration beyond these deep blue waters will lead to cinematic settings we've overlooked for a lifetime. I feel bad for growing up right here and not enjoying this place enough. I feel like I've missed out. We often preach about finding outdoor beauty close to the places we live. Downwind run home. Now, that practice unlocks images and experiences close to home, but far from the expected. We always seem to find pretty places around even real, you know, places that are not known for beauty. You have to just zoom out far enough to see it sometimes. This is why we do this show, is just to capture these moments, these scenes, have a little fun along the way, share the inspiration of what we get out of being out here. And hopefully it gets you to come out here. And this is where we all belong. When you travel, the world becomes a smaller place. Pretty incredible stuff. When you explore with friends like mine that are outdoor cinematographers, destinations definitely come to life. Okay, that was loud. We share our love of travel with our cameras, telling the stories of Earth's most amazing places in every frame. But on every adventure, oh, Dave. the unplanned moments are the ones we remember the most. I did bring a bag of raw chicken. Hang on, I'll be right back. <laughs> Here we go, Lake Como. I'm Jeff Aiello. Go Bridge. And this is Outside Beyond the Lens. It's not always about the obvious big view behind you. Sometimes the prettiest things are right below your feet. Production funding for Outside Beyond the Lens provided by Visit Fresno County. Nature, diversity, found in the heart of California's Central Valley. From Fresno and Clovis, you can drive to three nearby national parks. By Hedrick Chevrolet. Hedrick Chevrolet is proud to support the spirit of travel in each of us. Every journey has a first step. Adventures start here. By Advanced Beverage Company. Serving Bakersfield and Kern County for over 50 years. From our family to yours, supporting Valley PBS and the wonders of travel by the Penstar Group, promoting opportunity and growth for collaboration and partnerships for the future. By Hodges Inc. Battery Storage Systems. Would you rather invest in the power company's infrastructure or your own? And by Visit Yosemite Madera County, California's gateway to Yosemite National Park. Explore the outdoor magic of Madera County and be inspired to discover more. One of the new realities of living in the mountains of California is facing the real threat of wildfire in the summer months. In September of 2020, one of the largest forest fires in California's history at the time erupted in Big Creek Canyon, and one of the first places it torched just above the ignition point was Huntington Lake. 
The fire spread so fast and with such intensity, cabin and homeowners had to literally run for their lives. The damage left behind was shocking to me and our crew when we filmed this footage for a documentary we did on the Creek Fire in the fall of 2020. Somewhat shocking to see how much. Now, three years later, we're back to kick off a three-day shoot close to home in a place we know fairly well, but not as good as John Neely, our on-again, off-again cinematographer, who, when he's not filming with us, is usually sailing somewhere in the Caribbean. And that's really where this story begins. You see, John's love for sailing was born on these waters, learning to sail as a boy on a lake that is world famous for its steady winds and scenic beauty. And now, resiliency, as Huntington Lake makes a slow recovery from the smoke and flames that left deep scars on this landscape and community. David, great, what, do you, huh? what do you think, buddy? I mean, here, you and I grew up as the crow flies, what, 30 miles from here, maybe? Yeah, really close. And we yeah. never really came here a lot nah, as kids. No, nah, we didn't. I mean, I've been here one time, maybe 15 years ago, but only went part of the way around the lake, so. And I'm just sitting here going, what, are, we wasted a lifetime. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Not coming here, man. It's pretty great. I mean, we love our side of the hill, yeah. but this is, I mean, it's virtually the same. It's just we haven't explored it. And we don't have a lake this size at this elevation. Yeah, yeah right. You know? Yeah. Huntington Lake sits just under 7,000 feet in elevation in the Sierra National Forest, about an hour and a half drive from Fresno, California. We've arrived on a late summer afternoon to capture footage of the lake as golden light and long shadows shape this alpine setting. Huntington Lake is quiet this time of year as a slow transition to winter is about to begin. Well, it's golden hour again, our favorite time of the day. And uh, John Neely is down there below me on the top of a cliff. We don't want him to go any further than that. Uh, Zach Allen is flying the drone. I can hear it buzzing in the treetops right now. We're at the east end of Huntington Lake. The sun's setting up perfectly for a great sunset. And uh, we're just gonna sit here and try to milk a couple of good shots. I think we've had a good first little half a day here. Uh, for me, getting re-familiar with Huntington Lake. I've been here many times over the years, but never really spent a lot of time right here at the lake, just really immersing myself into its beauty and all it has to offer. And so we've been doing that today and also a fair amount of kicking myself for not doing it sooner. And John Neely back there has been sure to make sure I understand that too. He's been ribbing me. You know, there's a little bit of a rival rivalry here because he's a Shaver Lake kid. Um, I'm a Bass Lake kid. For those of you not in the area, you might be watching this in Paducah and going, what are you talking about? The San Joaquin River sort of runs right between the two of us where we grew up. He went to a rival high school, Sierra High School. I went to Yosemite High School. Um, and somehow we're working together. Cats and dogs can get along. He's boastful about his side of the mountain. I'm boastful about my side of the mountain. At the, at the end of the day, it's all good. They're all, it's all beautiful and uh, we're enjoying it right now. This is great right here. Check this out. We can see all the way down. Huntington Lake's like, like a giant runway, like a giant, like a bowling alley shaped lake. What, John, eight miles long? Just under. Just under eight miles long, a little over a mile wide at its widest spot, about 150 feet deep in its deepest spot. And right now, this is why we come here. This is why you come to Huntington Lake. Well, actually, there's another reason why you come to Huntington Lake. We're gonna see that tomorrow. <laughs> A cool and quiet morning on the Sierra as we wake in a cabin not far from the lake. Plans are discussed around the breakfast table on how to best shoot today's planned excursion that is something Huntington Lake is known around the world for, sailing. You, we have at least one drone with us, or we, well, we have three, I think. Okay. Well, three, yeah. Okay. In fact, for 71 years, the High Sierra Regatta has drawn large crowds and competitors racing on these winds in a variety of boat classes each summer. 
In a fitting example of serendipity, John has connected us with a sailing and racing legend on Huntington Lake, as well as the person who taught him how to sail these crystal blue waters, a man named Scooter Holmes. All right, man, I'm excited to actually be sailing for the first time on Huntington Lake and with a legend. Yeah, no, you got he's the like right guy. He's like family to you. No, I know he is. And when you said we're going out with Scooter, it's like right that's on. Good. No, no, that's a good call. All right, after you. you oh, really? The, okay. Yeah. The stories I've heard of Scooter and his dominance on the race circuit at Huntington Lake helped to build an image of a keen waterman in my mind, a cunning tactician and wind whisperer, a man who wore too much sun on his face with a salty sense of humor and eyes that see the wind before it blows. I was mostly right. Okay, so I'm a Bass Lake boy. I grew up over there. Powerboat. Powerboat guy. I was driving a powerboat when I was eight years old, uh, pulling skiers. This is my first time being on Huntington, and I, I'm kind of ashamed that I'm f almost 56 years old and this is my first time. You, you should be. <laughs> you should be ashamed, but I mean, it's only a half an hour away. It's right here. So I hear, you know, you're like one of the legends out here. John, I've known for a long time. John's actually taught me how to sail a little bit, and I've been able to sail in places like the BVIs and take a catamaran out, you know, like a Hobie cat out. When did you first start out here? Uh, I started in 78. So we're talking 46 years, I guess, around there, 45 years. Are you from the area? Did yes. You? Okay. Born and raised, the local Loki of and, Fresno. Yeah, gotcha. And did your did you did your parents introduce you to this lifestyle, or how did you get into it? No, uh, came up after my son was born, dropped him off at grandma and grandpa's, and headed up to the lake to give mom a break. And my friend, my best friend then, his wife, they were racing up here and sailing, and they didn't know what they were doing. And I'm looking at her, and he's beating her up. I mean, he doesn't know what he's doing, she doesn't. So I said to the ex-wife, I said, hey, mind if I sail with Uncle Chuck? She goes, nope. So, that's, so Chuck got you in the sailing. Chuck time. got me in the sailing. I mean, real sailing. I mean, I knew how to play sail, but there's play sailing and racing. Yeah. Racing teaches you how to sail better. If anyone knows about racing on Huntington Lake, it's Scooter. He has one of the longest winning streaks in the regatta for the Victory 21 boat class. Scooter's race boat has been running these waters since the 1960s. One of the things sailors love about Huntington Lake in the summer is how consistent the wind is here. It turns on and off at almost the same time every day and blows about the same 10 to 12 knots right down the middle with puffy gusts as strong as 19 to 20. All morning, it's been glassy calm on the water, but with the drone up around 10 a.m., you can see the wind line on the water approaching from the west, right as we hoist the sails to take our first run of the day. And what we do is we go up to the middle of the lake where it's usually a little mellower than that down here. Yeah. And we do DUI sailing, drunk sailing we call it, because <laughs> when they're learning the tiller, it looks and turn crazy. it, yeah, because yeah, you're moving all around and you're learning how to narrow it down and get a feel for the yeah. over the overcompensation. Right. And, mm -hmm. and the other thing that's so funny about them, women usually have a much better touch than guys. Guys are animals. My comment to people when they're learning how to sail: Okay, you've been trying to go out with this girl for six months. You finally get your chance. So have some finesse. Don't be groping. And the women, every one of them go, oh, I understand now. <laughs> and the guys, huh? <laughs> awesome. Yep. Yeah, Scooter told me when I was 12, and I didn't understand it. Yeah, no. yeah, but when he was yeah. 13, he understood Yeah, no, I got it at 13. Though. 13, it all clicked. Yeah, 13, he's going, oh, yeah, I know what he's talking about. Sailing out here with Scooter and John, with Huntington Lake all to ourselves on a mid-September afternoon, is a bittersweet realization for me. I've known sailing was a thing here for a long time, but until today, 
didn't truly understand why it's so special. Now, after getting some time on the tiller and learning the subtleties of sailing that can only be taught by a person with scooter's time on the water, the overwhelming feelings of joy I have are occasionally muted by pangs of regret for not having discovered this much sooner in life, especially in a place that is so close to my home. Let's talk about the Creek Fire for a second. So that happened on Labor Day weekend of 2020. Uh -huh. Were you out here on the water that weekend? No, but I was coming up to pull the boat. And you got turned around? Yeah. Where'd they turn you around? Were you were we at the four, four lane. lanes? Yeah. At the top of the four lanes? Yeah. Now it's freaking, because I thought all the soot and stuff would get on the boat, but you know, back there it didn't, gotcha. you know, it ran along and went to China Peak and it really, you can see here, they got to China Peak that way on that side. Yeah. You know. Well, thank God it didn't torch this whole lake all the way around. Oh God, yes. I mean, it would be such a different experience right now. My grandkids will be able to see the road and the lake like I saw it yeah. all my life. Yeah, it'll you know, come back. Because it's going to take three generations to get back into it, or at least two. Yeah. You know. It's on its way. It has a way of healing itself, but it takes time. Yeah. It's taken about an hour for us to tack back and forth up the lake into the wind towards the dam at Huntington Lake. Zach and Dave are shooting from shore with the 200 to 600 millimeter lens and a drone, but now it's time to pick them up for some boat time too. Scooter's ability to teach sailing is like second nature. And in no time, David and Zach are both easing threshold of a dream into the wind. Time shared on these waters under bright blue skies in the high Sierra is something none of us will forget. Experiences like this on a lake so close to where we live hammers home a lesson we try to share wherever we travel. Exploring doesn't always have to happen far away. Do those things and go to those places that are near you that maybe you've never seen, but have heard of your entire life. Hike a new trail or visit a park close by. Be curious and take those small first steps that can lead to a larger journey of discovery. And with camera in hand, capture new images to share with the world. Now lift it up, push the tiller, keep pushing, keep pushing, harder, harder, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. Okay, now go to the other side. Okay, watch your mane. Look up, look up, look up. When it fills up with air, right there, straighten it. There you go, cool. Yes, yeah, Zach. Way to go, buddy. Good job. Yes, Zach. Way to go, buddy. As the sun sets on another day in the Sierra Nevada of Central California, John takes us to another local spot he's been coming to for years. And once again, a place I've driven by a thousand times and never stopped. Directly behind the parking lot at China Peak Ski Resort, a hiking trail winds with the gentle curves and falls of Big Creek as it makes its way to Huntington Lake. This is a short and fairly easy hike with scenic and photographic rewards that come quick. Giant pools catch the last glimpses of afternoon sun through a filter of Jeffrey pine and red fir. What do you think of this place, Jeff? Well, I mean, this is, this is my home. This is our home. We're all from here. 
and we've at different times in our life we've spent a lot of time up here sometimes we get away from it for too long but i've never really explored you know beyond just the china peak or just a quick drive around Huntington lake and it's not surprising that the same reasons why i love my side of the hill i say my side of the hill over closer to yosemite where i grew up it's all the same forest technically it's all the same mountain range and new places are always fun to discover and, and discovering them with your buddies on a day like today is doesn't get much better than that There is an ease and approachable nature to the Sierra that you just don't find in other mountain ranges around the world. Heavy effort isn't required to get to places like this. And once you're here, there is a quiet peace that welcomes you, no matter why you've come. On our last day at Huntington Lake, we decide to drive up Kaiser Road to grab a few elevated shots of the lake settings below and are reminded of how fun a drive in these mountains can be on a beautiful day like today. Throughout the Sierra, a large network of roads and trails winds through valleys, next to meadows, and up to mountain peaks in the lower elevations. We find the road to Mount Tom, a locally familiar mountain with a fire lookout on top near the south fork of the San Joaquin River Basin. Along the way, we visit and stop and shoot and plan where our next adventure will take us and drive on, hopeful to finally see the top of Mount Tom. But that won't happen today. Well, this is what happens sometimes. This is not the first time we've been on a four-wheel drive road and had the road closed, especially when you know there's you know, a lookout tower up there. And there's a bunch of communication infrastructure on top of Mount Tom too, that it's probably best that uh, the masses aren't allowed to go up there. Um, but a little bit disappointing because we wanted to see a cool view from up there. It's a unique viewpoint because Mount Tom sits out in the middle of the San Joaquin River Basin, especially coming off the South Fork, which is right below us right here. Uh, Silver Divide's right there, Edison Lake's right here. And so it's kind of, this is a big basin. And then Mount Tom kind of sits up on top of it kind of by itself. So it provides a 360 degree view of not just the upper San Joaquin, but all the way back to the Sierra Crest. You can see the Ritter and Banner. We'll put the drone up here for sure and, and uh, get a couple of shots to show what that view looks like. We're close enough to the summit for Zach to get shots of the top of Mount Tom with stunning views of the Sierra Crest beyond. For a day trip photo excursion or a longer camping trip in the Sierra, Huntington Lake and the backcountry access via the Kaiser Road is an excellent way to escape and recharge. I think that's the biggest lesson I've learned traveling with you, going to all these places, because we've, we've traveled the entire country and a lot of parts of the world too. And I, I always seem to find with you, we always seem to find pretty places around even real, you know, places that are not known for beauty. I mean, I, I, it's just, you have to just zoom out far enough to see it sometimes and uh, get so away true. from things. Yeah, so true, man. And that's one of the things we've always loved about doing this program is, is hopefully inspiring people to you know, it's okay to go for the big marquee rock yeah. star location, but man, look what we just did here. Yeah. We walked off the road mm -hmm. on a nondescript little pullover. Mm -hmm. We walked not even a quarter mile. Yeah. And now we're sitting on this beautiful rock no, overlooking could, Huntington Lake. You could just sit here all night too, you know, because yeah. this is just epic. And this is a view that you would, you know, pay just, money for. Yeah, this is spectacular. A lot of people would pay a big dollar to, to, to sit and enjoy this. and. You know, there's places like this where you are too. Yeah, no, this is spectacular. To experience the beauty, thrill, and downright fun of sailing on Huntington Lake, and to learn more about the High Sierra Regatta here, check out FresnoYachtClub.org. Who knows, you might just run into Scooter up here. 
And if he invites you on board, trust me, that's an invitation you take. Production funding for Outside Beyond the Lens provided by Visit Fresno County. Nature, diversity, found in the heart of California Central Valley. From Fresno and Clovis, you can drive to three nearby national parks. By Hedrick Chevrolet. Hedrick Chevrolet is proud to support the spirit of travel in each of us. Every journey has a first step. Adventures start here. By Advanced Beverage Company serving Bakersfield and Kern County for over 50 years. From our family to yours, supporting Valley PBS and the wonders of travel. By the Penstar Group, promoting opportunity and growth for collaboration and partnerships for the future. By Hodges Inc. Battery Storage Systems. Would you rather invest in the power company's infrastructure or your own? And by Visit Yosemite Madera County, California's gateway to Yosemite National Park. Explore the outdoor magic of Madera County and be inspired to discover more.